Hey now everyone, and welcome again to Cornerstone. Today I'll be giving a tour of our spawn here because it's recently been revamped with these new paths and a lot of the vegetation around here, including this tree right here that I built. And also this will give me a chance to show off some of the other people's builds and link their channels as I go. So we're going to begin here on the far side of spawn. Uh, right over there, I don't believe I'm allowed to show it yet, but uh, I know it's going to be a trade center and I believe Nick Vegas is building it. And this thing right here is a pack spawn home. It's a very futuristic design. It's a very unique design. It, it's something I haven't really seen before, which makes it uh, that much better. It's still a work in progress, and he's always doing random things to it. But a uh, very unique design. I feel like it's kind of inspired by Zisto in a way. It seems like something that he'd build with the, the, the water stream right there, kind of in the air too. But uh, over here, this is... um. This is kind of a remnant of our first weeks on the server. We were really hyped about the new fishing mechanics, so basically for the first week all we did was fish, and uh, CTB opened up his first store, and uh, it's a fishing shack. One of the great benefits of this store is that it's never stocked, which is fantastic because I love fish. And then over here, if you saw my last video, you'll know what this is. This is my Hobbit Hole rendition, and... Um, there's still some unexpected creepers in it, so I don't think I'll go in there. But if you want to see a tour of that, I have a good video of that on my channel. It was my last video. So uh, right here, this is like the main strip of spawn. It's uh, the main area that we sort of revamped, the main area that we put these paths and all the uh, vegetation. If you go outside, it's just plain like this area was before. But this is CTB's second shop, and he calls it Ignite to Fight. This one a little bit more stock than his fishing shack. It's a TNT shop. And uh, he hasn't made very many sales lately, but I'm sure when we need fireworks and uh, digging out large areas, that will come in handy. This right here was actually partially built by CTV, but it's owned by Torbay, and it's the Chuck Delight. And by the way, this chicken is meant to look kind of derpy. Uh, it was meant to be a joke when uh, Bostasford built it, but uh, it's sort of stuck. Basically, everyone buys our food here because uh, it's a stack of chicken, and it's pretty cheap. Torbay has a... Uh, pretty good uh, chicken cooker over at spawn home. Up here is actually a business that CTB doesn't take part in. It's the Leaf Emporium. And every server should have a Leaf Emporium. They're just essential to the community, so whenever we need our, our leaves and our grasses, we just come here and uh, buy them. Probably the first uh, business on the server. Now over here, um, this is another shop. Can you guess uh, one of the people that owns it? Yep, it's, it's uh, CTB. And they call it VCB Industries. Vostis is the other co-owner. And this is their main building. And uh, they're a building company, so they build things like the Chuck Delight over there. And also they've done a few community builds like these fountains here. And something we'll get to up there when we hit the library. This right here was a shop owned by somebody who's no longer on the server. It was a potion shop, and uh, the person who owned it, uh, just uh, SMP wasn't for him. So unfortunately he had to go, but uh, we keep the building because it's one of his only built on here, and it's good to commemorate. This right here is our message board, and I sort of built it in the uh, so, sort of feel of a train station, and it sort of gives me that vibe. And it's uh, turned out well for, you know, giving out to build ideas and things like that. Now over here is a similar business to that potion shop, and it, uh, it's the Hobo Shack, and it was made by a person who was on the server for about a week. But because of ping issues and lag, he had to go, unfortunately. He lived in Europe, so it makes sense, but there's nothing he could really do. Now, these things up here are what I was talking about uh, that were built by VCB. Uh, they're the lions right here. And uh, although they didn't come up with the, the idea and the design, uh, they utilized them pretty well, and they look awesome here. As we're here is the public library. It's being made by Vegas, but... Uh, it's a work in progress right now, so it's not exactly finished. I'm not sure exactly what he's going to be doing with it, but he's also going to be building a museum under here. So I look forward to see what he'll do with that. Now up here is the Christmas tree, but uh, the decorations have been taken off because, well, it's not Christmas, so now it's the public mob farm. And also has a monument inside uh, to sort of commemorate the people that were on the server last Christmas, which was in 2013. So these were all the people that were on the server, including me right there. Up here is CTB's spawn home. It's a little bit uh, messed up right now, but uh, one of the cool features of it is it has a gigantic quarry down here. It's completely pointless. All it has is just a pixel art of a sloth, a cow, and Nick Vegas. I'm still not exactly sure why it was built, but I know a cow was once down there. 
Um, only one cow, so I'm not sure what purpose it was to be held. Up here is Edward's mansion, and uh, looks like he had a bit of issues with creepers right here, but the inside looks pretty awesome. He's got this cool fountain right here that actually has a stream of lava flowing down it, which is pretty cool he was able to do that without having any cobblestone being formed. And then he's got these gold blocks spiraling up just to prove his wealth. I also really like these window arts he's got going on here. I hate poppies, but uh, they're really well done. And the place isn't really furnished yet, but uh, I'm sure he'll do that very soon. Another one of the outskirt builds here is Torbray's spawn home. Uh, it doesn't uh, have too much of a design to it yet, but it's got a lot of redstone stuff. I'll show you what he has over here, because it's, it's frankly awesome. It's a uh, triple spawner, one skeleton, and two cave spiders. So the cave spiders spawn in, and they land right here, and you can kill them that way. And skeletons spawn right here, or fall down right there. And uh, yeah, it works as a, a good mob farm if you don't want to go to the enderman farm. Okay, now this is the last major build here at Spawn, and it's Person's Spawn Home. Now this dude practically built the thing within the first two weeks of the server being up, and it's still one of the most well-developed builds here at Spawn. At the time, he already had the enchantment table, a tree farm, a cow farm, which right now is the only working cow farm here at Spawn, a sugarcane farm, a wheat farm, a potato farm, a carrot farm, all of the farms, and he tied it all off with this really good cave design he's got going on here. Basically, he found the cave and built into it with this really good dynamic design. Now, besides being a great builder, he's also a crazy collector. He's got more wither skeleton skulls than all of us on the server combined. And get this, almost a stack of diamond blocks. Insane, I know. Well, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed the builds, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, and if you want to see more like it, subscribe, because I'll definitely be making more videos like this. Now, I recently hit 100 subs, so I really want to thank you guys for that. I currently have a request pending to join the Minecraft server, and now that I'm at 100 subs, there's no way Ether could turn me down. But still no guarantees that he'll send me a message back, so until then, I'll see you later.